This is one of my favorite pens. Look at its color. Not black but it is dark brown. It raises a question, is it really brown? Let's find out. Let me zoom closer a bit. First, cut the paper doll into pieces like this. Do not use tissue roll and box tissue. Chromatography paper and filter paper are the best for paper chromatography experiment, of course. If you don't have these paper, like me, you can use white multifold doll paper, because it is thicker than normal tissue paper. Then, use a pencil to draw a dash line. This line is called starting line. Draw a dot with your pen on the starting line, and make sure that the ink is water soluble. Now prepare a tube. Pour some water into a tube. And put the paper doll into the water. The starting line should be above the water level. You can use a clamp for holding the paper. Wait for some time until the ink stop moving forward. Water moves up the paper by capillary action, which occurs as a result of the attraction of the solvent molecules to the paper. As the solvent rises through the paper and dissolves the sample mixture, which will then travel up the paper with the solvent solute sample. Different substances in the sample mixture travel at different rates. Besides, paper is composed of cellulose which is a polar substance. The substances that are attracted more to the paper will move very little, while the substances that are more attracted to the water will travel with it. In this case, different substances have different level of attraction, so the substances can't be separated. It seems that the ink is separated into two colors, red and green. Take out the paper carefully, and do some analysis. Place a ruler next to the paper to do some measurements. In paper chromatography, we usually calculate the RF value. The ratio to front value is defined as the ratio of the distance traveled by the substance to the distance traveled by the solvent. So the RF value of the red ink is 1.9 divided by 6.0 and the green ink is 3.8 divided by 6.0. This concludes that unique components have unique RF values. You can use different pens to separate different coloring and calculate the RF value. Thanks for watching.